The iris claw lens for the correction of myopia, hyperopia and astigmatism introduced by Jan Worst has been established in recent years. Currently a foldable model with a silicone optic and rigid PMMA haptics is available. Especially for the implantation of the foldable model, we recommend a pre-operative YAG iridotomy and application of oil-free pilocarpine eye drops. Because of the implant of 8.5 mm, location of paracentesis are marked. The paracentesis are placed in the direction of the enclavation region. To prevent an intraoperative iris prolapse and to flatten the iris, acetylcholine is applied into the anterior chamber. For deepening the anterior chamber and later implantation, the usage of a medium viscous viscoelastic is advised. After marking, a posterior limbal two-step corneal tunnel is performed. The anterior chamber is entered with a clear-cut metal knife after an initial groove. The anterior chamber is then homogeneously deepened with viscoelastic. Viscoelastic overfill is sufficiently prevented by stopping injection before the pupil dilates. The foldable iris claw lens has a convex concave optic. The PMMA haptics are connected angularly. The phacic IOL is placed with the first haptic into the implantation device. After slight pressure on the optic, the second haptic can be completely fixated into the device. Because of the foldability of the silicone optic, the phacic IOL is passed easily through the primary incision. An upside-down implantation is impossible. In cases of topical anesthesia, it is recommended to fixate the globe with a forceps during the implantation maneuver. The implantation device is now removed. Viscoelastic is placed on top of the phacic IOL optic. The lens is rotated to the location where enclavation is intended. In contrast to the rigid model, the foldable model is grasped on the haptics for the purpose of enclavation. The enclavation forceps grasps the superior haptic and the iris is enclavated via the inferior haptic.
To ensure precise enclavation, we recommend grasping the iris inferiorly or moving the lens slightly inferior. The viscoelastic is removed completely by irrigation with a balanced salt solution. An irrigation aspiration maneuver is not recommended as it can lead to unwanted fluctuations of the iris lens diaphragma. At the end of the procedure, the incision is checked for water tightness. The tunnel was tight in all our 60 cases. Our patients will benefit from the foldability of the lens which now enables small incision surgery in phakic IOL implantation.